welcome to the Voice Coach Podcast, here for all your speaking voice training and guidance. My name is Nick Redman, and I am offering you all sorts of nuggets of wisdom on how to keep your voice in good working order and a true representation of who you are. So if you're a podcaster, presenter, actor, speaker, or voiceover artist, or a general voice geek, you're in good hands. Shall we get started? Ah, lovely big sigh. Hello. Welcome back. So last time, well, how do we go at jaw release? Wasn't it lovely? And I hope you got a chance to take a look at the whole jaw release week course I have available now for download. What? If you're uh, you're hungry for more of that sweet, sweet jaw relief. I've popped the link in the show notes again if you missed that one. But anywho, today we're moving on to releasing another of the movable... (laughs) The irony of me trying to say articulators without being able to articulate it properly is not missed. (laughs) Today... We're moving on to another of the movable articulators for release, and that is the tongue. Now, we're going to explore the tongue a little bit and do one tongue release exercise in this episode. Why, though? Why release the tongue? Well, the tongue is really key in shaping vowels and consonants, obviously, and it can carry a load of unhelpful tension. I mean, I'm sure the uh, phrase tripping over your tongue will be familiar to you from life somewhere down the line. But it's not just about articulation when it comes to the tongue. As with all voice things, there's always extra bits that are helped. When you're working on one element of something, there's a knock-on excellent effect. But really with the tongue, it's because the tongue is actually directly attached to the larynx where the vocal folds live. So any tension in the tongue will also have an impact on freedom of the larynx to move as it needs to for the phonation, the sound making process. And there's more. Uh, (laughs) Good old tongue. Tongue position can have an effect on the resonance or quality of a voice too. Christina Shewell has a great wee quote here in her book, Voice Work, Art and Science and Changing Voices. I've said it before, but it's the Bible. But she gives a great sort of example of how the tongue position can affect voice quality. And she just states that a a markedly back and lowered tongue in an actor may contribute to a held back voice quality and have an added tension effect on the pharyngeal and laryngeal areas. So tension in the tongue and the tongue position is going to affect all sorts of things. But we're kind of thinking about it in this episode to do with articulation. So here we go. Tongue time. Now, full disclosure, I've been trying to decide which tongue release exercise to offer you because there's loads that are brill. And I basically decided to leave it until literally the moment of recording to decide. So what you're listening to now is my brain making an in-the-moment instinctive sort of decision as I search through my mind palace uh, about the best one to give you. And I'm going to go for... mm, Taking a drink to fill the space. It's got to be slug tongue. It's got to be. It's got to be slug tongue. So sorry if you're just after your lunch or about to eat or squeamish. But please, stick your tongue out on your lower lip like a big fat slimy slug. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Big fat slimy slug. And you're just going to talk with your tongue like that for a wee bit. So it'll sound a little bit like this. Tongue out. (laughs) I'll take it in for the purposes of you understanding what the heck I'm saying. You can basically say anything you want. You want the tongue nice and floppy and flat out on the lower lip. It's quite good to do this one in front of a mirror just so you can see how release the tongue is. But you can say anything really, though mindless. It needs to be something really mindless that you don't need to think about because your brain will be really confused <laughs> when you start to talk like this. One of the first times I did this exercise, I can't remember who with now. If you're out there, thank you. But the suggestion then was to say days of the week, months of the year and count one to ten. You know, because we all know those <laughs> pretty mindlessly. So in whatever language you're comfy with, uh, English or whatever your first language is, that's what we're going to do. So keep your tongue out and relaxed on the lower lip like this. <laughs> Hello. And we're going to say days of the week, months of the year and count one to ten. So you want to keep that tongue out nice and relaxed and keep all the words as clear as you can with the tongue in the way. So here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take your tongue in. Wipe away any saliva that may be gathering there. Have a wee drink if you fancy. And as you get that tongue back in there, just notice how it feels. It can be really good to do this one in front of a mirror, like I said earlier, because then you can see the tendency with the tongue to kind of come back into the mouth or want to jerk back in. And also then you can check in and if it looks like there's any more tension anywhere else, like in the lips, or if you can feel any tension in the jaw creeping in, that's a good thing to notice. Because if you are holding or gripping the jaw in order to do this, you just need to think about adjusting the distance that the tongue reaches out of the mouth. And then as you get used to it over time, you can extend your reach. So start with the tongue not too far out if you're feeling jaw tension coming in. 
And then over time, just put the tongue creeping a wee bit further and further out. Okay, so let's go again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You might want to close your eyes so you can focus in. Thursday, none of you driving. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. January, February, March. April, here comes the year. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And tongue back in. Oh, I love this one. Always feels like I've had like a big Botox injection in my tongue, like my tongue's really big and fat, which is, you know, very nice. Oh, I, you'll notice I did a wee yawn there. I always find when I release my tongue root or if I, if I am holding a bit of tension, which I am today because I had kind of a late night just between you and me and the walls. If I release tongue tension, sometimes my body's like, oh, we're yawning now. Okay, because it's making all that space at the back. And that's fine. Yawning is okay. We're going to get to it in a couple of episodes time. But there we are. Slug tongue, your little foray into releasing the tongue, getting it ready for some toning of articulation that we're going to do a few episodes into the future because we're releasing before we're working on response and toning of the articulators. Anyway, I do, of course, have a full course coming on tongue release in the same way I've got a whole course on jaw release. So if you'd like info on that, as soon as it's out, make sure you're on my mailing list by visiting my shiny new website, nickribbonvoice.com. And that's it. You're done for the week. Well done. Uh, Thanks from me and your tongue (laughs) for showing up today and continuing on your voice training journey. You're a fucking legend. You are. Okay. See you next time. Or should I say, see you next time. (laughs) I love that one. Thanks for listening to The Voice Coach Podcast. For even more support with your speaking voice, head on over to our free community, The Voice and Accent Hub on Facebook. See you in there.